I really uh-huh. love Son Goku and Vegeta's uh, outfits that they had during the Fakatsu no F movie, and they even went into the Universe 6 arc. Like, it looked a lot like uh, Goku's outfit that he wears at the end of DBZ, but it was all mm-hmm. orange, like where he wears the gi, um, he wears like the uh, the gi where it's not, you know, tucked in into his pants, it's like the long gi that goes like a little past his legs and everything. Um, right, yeah. And everything. That was really cool. I liked it because it was new, it was like a yeah, fresh well, take yeah. on Goku, but it still paid tribute to the iconic outfit that he's had and I like the idea of them having Whis's signature as their new symbol like he's their new master yeah, that's cool. um Vegeta's outfit the gray one it was very similar to the to the cyan armor that Boma made him and um the way they True. the way uh they they drew that and everything I liked it it was cool it like it paid tribute to their outfits of the past but it was still new and fresh but they went back to the classic Goku and Vegeta outfits that they had weared back in the Cell Saga. Yeah, yes, they did. They're iconic, but I, I, I like one of the things I've always loved about Dragon Ball. Because uh, when I was a kid growing up watching cartoons, uh, the cartoons mm-hmm. I was always how come the cartoons or characters never age? Like I especially like when I was watching The Simpsons, uh, you know, back then and everything, and even now, like they haven't aged. But in, they're immortal, right? But in Dragon <laughs> Ball, what I loved is like okay, they would do time skips, three years here, seven years there, five years here, and the characters mm-hmm. are always available. Like you look at Boma, Boma has had so many different. Different hairstyles and outfit changes <laughs> from the beginning of Dragon Ball to the end of DBZ, and I like it. That's cool because you can see the character mm-hmm. develop and mature. And I also always enjoy that you know, like when you play the video games, you have Kid Gohan, you have Teen Gohan, you have Adult Gohan. Because I thought that's so cool that you could always see the development and all the characters kind of had their outfits. Like you know, this is what Vegeta wore in the Saiyan Saga. This is what Vegeta wore in the Frieza Saga. The Cell saga the boo saga and now we get to super and it's like now he's back to wearing what he wear like i wish they would have kept those outfits and um and i don't know why they changed it because i know if you're in a manga maybe those outfits would be if you've got to draw a manga weekly then maybe you 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 would have to go ahead and uh Maybe you would have to go ahead and it'd be easier to right. draw that weekly basis, but you know, they're not drawing it. It's all being taken care of the animators, so I don't know why they exactly. went back. So I'm guessing they, they had to have done it for um just for marketing purposes because they, they know those yeah, are the, what... the outfits that people associate. But I just like the idea of having something like new and fresh and I like man, this is like the one of the first times in Dragon Ball, like they've kinda gone back. Like even the Cell and Boo saga, Goku wear the same outfit, but uh it just took the symbols off of it. So it was a little bit something different um so yeah that's my thing i haven't been uh, that i wanted to say about those outfits like i wish they really would have kept the outfits they had from the fakatsu no yeah i wish movie. they kept it too just it's, it's okay to put something new out like that because well, you're so used to and it's, it could be a bad thing you know that's one of the new things of experiencing an art you know you won't have a character that's wearing the same clothes all the time same thing same this same that and you have a show where you have progressive characters, meaning they change every now and then. Mm-hmm. It's okay to keep those same clothes, but like you said, for marketing reasons and to reach the fans in old and new generation, they went back to the older costumes. Right, for sure. And I and I and I guess I you see exactly what I was meaning there. Like, and I and I like to like pay tribute to those outfits, and then um, go ahead and go to go finish there. Hey, everybody! Son Goshu Crew here. Thanks for checking out this clip from me and Matt Dillingham's Dragon Ball Super Character Design Discussion originally released back on August 26, 2018. For the full version, click the link in the video and the links to all our social media are in the description below.